Drogba, beautiful. Now punish. Drogba! Oh, who let the dogs out? Woo, 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 who let Drogba out? Woo, 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 woo. What a strike. What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel. And this time we are taking a look at a breakdown and a complete player review of Drogba. So Drogba is a player that I didn't really... I didn't really go for him. I mean, I obviously wanted to get Rebrew and we got him uh, in our live stream the other day, but I didn't really need Drogba because obviously I play a target man. I'm usually going to play a collar or somebody that can win the aerial bombardment tackles and stuff like that, you know, but Drogba is a real classic center forward, really good power, really good positioning. It's all about how you build him up, but if you are not used to playing with Drogba, this is kind of what you have to do. I'm going to show you a couple of really good examples of where to utilize Drogba, because no matter what you do, when we get to his player build, you can turn him into a Romario-esque or Mbappe-esque run-and-gun center forward. He's all about just shooting uh, on sight, direct play, kind of like Harry Kane, Lewandowski, any of those kind of strong, burly I would say slightly clunky centre forwards compared to the tight possession, tight dribbling, balance centric centre forwards. Now, you will notice as well that a lot of the time when you're using a centre forward like Drogba, I think their role has been nerfed. You don't want him out in these positions or anything like that. That's just, you know, me, user error. You want him holding up the ball and running on, letting him make direct runs with the AI. But I think that they have really nerfed these classic centre forwards. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. But heading has been nerfed, I think. Um, the overall kind of like breakdown when you do things like this. This is what Drogba is all about. Look, we win the aerial ba battle in the air. It's spread out wide with Zico. We're one-on-one -on -one with the defender. We can rinse him like lats nice ditches. And then we're going to cross the ball in. But you'll see here. I mean, I think Drogba should be finishing this header. He gets a little bit of, you know, a 50-50 between him and the defender. But I think pre-patch with eFootball24, that would have gone in, right? So that is kind of going to draw our line as to where we're going to kind of train Drogba up. And the big question you need to ask yourself is, if you have spun for Drogba, if you're thinking of spinning for Drogba, do you, do you get rewarded for using a player like this? Kind of a, a center forward that is not a run and gun, not on the ground, you know? We all have that, you know, throw it up, lump it up and see what happens, put it in the mixer. But I just feel like with the gameplay at the moment, it doesn't really reward crosses or space out wide crossing into a central figure. You're better off keep it on the deck, which makes sense because that's kind of where the meta is. But if you want to have fun, this is a brilliant build with Drogba, definitely, right? He's going to get his booster, as you see there. I would definitely, after having tested him and played multiple games, scoring multiple goals with him, I would definitely say that Drogba is better off in a two-man partnership up front rather than leading the line. This is the build that we've gone with after much tweaking. I'm still a little bit torn on whether I should have his aerial strength or even his shooting that high because you are going to get the boost. His finishing is going to be 91. I personally feel that his finishing at 90 will be more than enough with the booster. So you could take one off that if you wanted to. Also with the jumping, the physical contact and the heading. To be honest with you lads, I don't see any real difference between the jumping and the heading, you know, from 90 plus, right? Obviously, you know, we all have different opinions on it. But trust me, I have played hundreds of games with collar up front across multiple profiles. And I feel like that the heading has gone backwards a bit. That you can't really score headers... You know, it depends on how you swing the ball in from corners as well, but it, I definitely feel it has been a bit weakened, right? Which I don't like too much, but that is the build that we've gone with. These are the additional skills that if you could give them to Drogba, they would turn him into a very, very strong player, right? So you're going to back up his player skills that he already has. He already has one touch pass, first time shot and heading and aerial superiority. We're going to try and give him in this order, long range curler, dip and shot, chip shot control, acrobatic clearance to help with the aerial battles and then maybe double touch as well but as i said drogba is a very different different player um, and i think he's a different player these target men are different players than when the game and where the game was at a couple of weeks ago and months ago i think drogba a couple of weeks ago this build would have been absolutely insane uh like adriano was for a week or two when he launched but yeah let me know what you guys think uh let me know if you enjoy using a target man I love using a two-man pronged attack, you know, one on the ground like Romario and then beside him Drogba if I'm going for sweaty matches. And if you want to have a bit of crack as well, I mean, it is nice to play with new legends or new epic cards. So let me know what you guys think and I will talk to you later. Don't forget to subscribe. Peace.